Well, welcome to another episode at Montana Haven. And this episode is going to be focused on... Well, we're just out here this morning taking a few minutes to enjoy our new deck that we have here. <laughs> okay, we're putting chips on the garden, cleaning out the last of the... <laughs> the last of the uh, barks here in this dump trailer. And we're nearing the last of this project. Okay, we got a fair bit done, but it's pouring down rain. And the main thing is the house is protected. No more leaky ridge cap and off to the next project. And this episode is going to be focused on Getting ready to move to Alaska. We have a lot of projects. I feel like I've got this many projects and I've got this much time left to do it. We're about the end of May or April here and uh, we are just so many things to do. But today what we're going to be doing, well, I kind of kind of give you a background. You know, I work with Metal Arc Log Homes. Um, I'm one of the owners there. My dad started the business in 1980 and now it's my two brothers and I and if you follow us, you kind of know the story. You know, we also have another, we actually have two, two more um, YouTube channels. And one of them, my brother runs, his name is LV and it's called Amish Meadows. So if you uh, want to check out more about our log home business and more things around the community, make sure to hop on over there and check out Amish Meadows. And then we also have another YouTube channel that my wife started. It's primarily her channel. She takes care of it. And it's pretty new. It's called Chloe Avalon. That's named after our two daughters. But back to the project. So we're moving to Alaska and we have a lot of things to do, as I mentioned. And what we're going to be working on today is we started this actually the other day. And so I'll just start videoing now. But we're last uh, year or so ago, we kind of did, redid some work on our house. You can see it's got a fresh coat of stain on it. We did some chinking on it and we kind of started replacing the porch, but I didn't have time to finish it then. But that's what we're working on today. That's one of our projects. I'm guessing it's gonna take a few days to do it. Uh, we're gonna build a new Let's porch there. On the front, we're gonna have a new porch. We're going to do some sidewalks along here, do some landscaping. Yeah, and this also all has to be done before we move and to get it ready for vacation rental. So that's what we're working on. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Let me show you the mountains. It's chilly, it was 17 degrees this morning uh, which is a little cool for this time of year because we can almost get the garden planted um, so here's my sidekick Ethan and Justin are gonna be helping me you ready Ethan to tackle this yeah all right let's do it so starting off here is lumber that we milled uh, at our mill and these are full two inch boards large fur and large boards they're two inch by eight inch and two inch by six inch and we're gonna be putting these on the deck and look at the mountains that's not too bad of you I hope I can find a view something like that in Alaska, uh, which I really hope we can. But anyways, right there's the deck we're gonna be replacing. Let's walk around here and I'll show you. We're taking off the old deck boards and putting new ones on. The old ones were just, these are the old boards, synthetic boards, they're just junk. I hate to say it, but they're just garbage. Uh, it's really messy up there, it looks awful right now. Uh, we're sliding the boards off of this, with this carpet thing here. But basically all the way around, we gotta replace uh, all these deck boards. Now the outside two rows are done. We did those last fall uh, or a year ago uh, when we were um, replacing this log railing in preparation for staining. So you can see right here, these are the deck boards. We're just gonna sand those up and then stain them uh, with a finish. And then these boards in here are the ones that need to be replaced. So that's what we're working on all the way around here and around here. And hopefully nobody walks out that door. They might have a long step. We have the door locked uh, and basically all the way around there. So we got to get this deck done and move on to the next project. We 
have to do some special customization here on these boards to get them to fit. Because initially when I built this deck, I built them for the thinner boards, and now I'm using two inch boards. So that's always how it goes when you try to redo something. Seems like it always takes a little bit longer. done right now just finishing the screwing and uh, we got this nice angle cut along here now we got one board along there now we're ready to start putting these guys on okay we custom scribed all the way around here now let's see if it fits Now we're taking all these little fasteners out so that we can take these boards off. And we had to put on some new, I just wanted to beef up our joists. So we doubled up our joists all across here and we're finishing getting those fastened on there. And then we're getting ready to put this section on over here, get all these screws off here, get some of this deck off so that we can do this 45 angle right here well we're just finishing up for the weekend here and of course you never get quite as much done as we had hoped but uh we did get this much done and all this is done now and of course this is done so at least we did get that done which i'm so thankful for and now it's the weekend so we're going to you know work on this again monday and maybe monday and by tuesday we'll have her done all right it's uh, turned into a beautiful afternoon here okay we're taking this porch decking off now and we got all this done over here and i'm getting the angles cut it's a beautiful morning here at montana haven and you can see this lumber behind me here that was a big stack and now we're down to that and i think it's going to be enough should be plenty for what we're doing and we're going to hopefully be able to get all the boards on the deck today then we have to sand it and then we have to uh give it a coat of stain so a couple coats all right let me show you what we got done so far so this deck is done right here coming across this is done this whole deck is done right here all our tools laying around and then yesterday you saw we took off all the old boards right here and then we put all new joists on the, the side so now they're like double thickness and the old joists were just too thin and a lot of them sagged in the middle so obviously these new ones are straight and now there's the, the strength of both of them so um, now we just got to get this all filled up here with with boards and then our deck is done. We're looking forward to having this project completed. Okay, now it's the next day and we got, so far we got all these boards in and we're cutting the edge there. And we're going to put a border along like that.
adjusting these at back more, it's got to be screwed first. We're gonna, it's so tight, we're making a little bit of a baby all right Yeehaw. <laughs> all right let's just kind of tighten them up and call it good okay i've been gone so let's go out and see how the boys are doing they were screwing the porch putting all the screws in how's it going guys good. wow look at that doesn't that deck look beautiful looks so beautiful good job boys got all the screws in and they're taking a sander they're hitting some of these high spots like in here just uh, so you don't stub your toe when you go across them. That deck looks so good. Looks so good here. We ran a board up along the wall there. Makes it easier to tuck it in rather than having all these boards stick underneath there. All right, gentlemen. These guys are amazing. They're 15 and I can leave them now sometimes and work actually gets done, which is pretty cool. Um, so now tomorrow we're going to get a big floor sander and we're going to lightly sand the whole floor and then we're going to put some finish on it and then it'll be done and we can move our deck stuff. And we did buy some new deck furniture, uh, for, for the air, for the vacation rental people while we're gone. So we're going to get that set up probably not right away, but before we leave, we'll definitely get it set up. And this deck is going to be beautiful because check this video out. The view is not too bad from the deck. How would you like to have a cup of coffee here in the morning? And look out towards the mountains. And of course, it's kind of snowing. Every time you look over there, it looks different. So you never know what you're going to get. Okay, two to lose for now. Well, I'm ready to start staining. We got this all blown off and it's clean. I'm gonna start over here. I got my booties on. So let's get rolling. Probably should be using a mask, but this is a water-based, plant-based product. So it, it uh, you can actually eat it and it won't affect you too much. Um, so that's why I'm not wearing a mask and not, there's not too much to do. Chloe, do you like the new deck? Uh -huh. So that's one coat. Now we're getting ready to give it the second coat. Wyatt's going to hold the hose for me. And Chloe's going to watch. Well, there's the second coat and it's still wet. So it's got a discolored look to it. We're going to let it dry and tomorrow we'll give it the last coat. Okay, as you can see, this is now two coats of stain on here. And we're applying the third coat. So this is going to make it just another layer of a little bit richer color and a little bit shinier.
Well, we're just out here this morning taking a few minutes to enjoy our new deck that we have here. <laughs> and uh, we're just so glad that this is one of the projects that we got uh, completed Yes. before we go to Alaska. We and so that check that off our list. <laughs> yeah, you guys can sit out here and enjoy some coffee um, with, the, with the new deck. Um, and then we will take you along and, and show you what other things that we're also doing. We just got finished the garden. The boys did a lot of the work, Justin and Ethan, getting that all ready. Uh, next projects are, um, well, we're going to do a new a porch on the front. Um, kind of totally rebuild that. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some work on the roof and just a lot of, we're going to do a little bit of rock work. Hopefully we'll get some sidewalks put in, some more landscaping. So there's still a lot to do, yeah. but we're, we're inching closer. And also just stay tuned. A lot of you have been asking, how do we uh, book this place or, you know, mm -hmm. reserve it or whatever. And right now, all we can say is we don't have anything prepared. Mm -hmm. So just kind of stay watching for our videos. And then once the time gets closer, uh, we'll let you guys all know how to do that. Yeah, we'll probably even announce it on our Instagram pages right. and just, yeah. By the way, follow us on Instagram and um, Facebook if you're on that. Mm -hmm. So it's all Montana Haven. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so today's a, a beautiful day. It's the last day of school. Uh, actually yesterday, but today is what we call the school picnic. And so we're going to be watching the kids uh, tell their poems and yep. sing and stuff. So And play games. And right, so like food. a community event. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we're putting chips on the garden, cleaning out the last of the... <laughs> the last of the... Uh, barks here in this dump trailer. These are, this is compost uh, that we put on our garden. Um, we put down some chicken manure first. The boys did that from the chicken house. Then we're going to put some paper down and another layer of chips for our no-till gardening method. Okay, let me show you what we got going on here. So you can see all these weeds growing up here. In a no-till garden, you generally don't have any weeds. But this is all what you see here is chicken manure compost on top of it. And the weeds are growing up. About six or seven years ago, probably, we put our first layer of chips down. And most of that turned into compost now. So that's why we have some weeds growing up. So what we're doing up here is we're simply rolling out brown uh, painter's paper. And that's a weed barrier to keep the weeds down. And it's also organic matter that will completely dissolve and then we're putting like three inches of this uh, partially composted wood chips on top of it so that's what we're doing right now okay we got that done and we're cheating a little bit we're using the loader and you can see because of the prior chips there's no dirt here it doesn't pack down and it's such a simple way of doing it this weed barrier essentially is going to turn into compost in just a short order but it's long enough to keep solid enough to keep the weeds down it's really sweet we only have to weed probably uh, after we put a new coat of chips on, probably about maybe twice a year. That's it, twice a summer. Okay, now this bottom part, we are getting this, got this all paper. Now we're gonna put uh, chips on this and we have some red rosin paper. I don't know about that stuff. I think it's probably just fine, but we're not planting things there. That's just a weed barrier. So that's why we're using that stuff over there. It also dissolves, but it's got, it's like for uh, put under flooring which this is kind of the same thing okay here we go
and we're nearing the last of this project. Wow, the boys have been working so hard. I've been helping them some, but they did a lot of it. And putting chips around everything again before we leave for Alaska. Good job, Ethan and Justin. Sad we're gonna have to leave this garden. It's so beautiful, looking so beautiful. It's got fresh chips on everything. We put down paper and then chips and now things are not really gonna grow. Although I must say, I see a couple dandelions poking through. We're gonna have to get rid of those bad boys. I don't know how they got, they came out where the, where it was ripped, I guess. We can't have that. So now this should kill any weeds. And then when, when they plant, the folks that are staying downstairs, they're gonna just be making a channel right here to the dirt and then stuff will be growing right there. So it's awesome. We are now uh, close to the end of April, almost at the end of April. And this is one of our last projects that we have to do out here in the garden and then we're good to go. Okay, when is the best time to plant a tree? Well, the answer is 10 years ago. And the second best time to plant a tree is today. So we're gonna pick the second best time to plant a tree. What do you say, Chloe? Okay. So we have in our orchard here, we have a lot of different kinds of trees. And you know, like I always say, and I probably always will, gardening is a big experiment. And these, we have three trees here. This is a cherry tree. This is a pie cherry. And that's like a Bing cherry. This is like a yellow cherry. But we've never had any success with our cherry trees. I don't know if it's the climate. I understand there might be something like a male cherry tree. Sometimes we'll get a few cherries off of these trees, but we've never, they always get full of blossoms. And we have multiple cherry trees, so they should cross pollinate, but we've never had successful, a successful year of a lot of cherries. So we simply decided, you know, after about 10 years of babying these things, we are gonna do the ultimate thing and just cut them down as much as I hate to do that. After we've spent so much time with them, they're kind of diseased anyways a little bit, especially these two. Uh, cut them down and we're gonna plant some some more peach trees. Our peach trees do really well. We have uh, two pre peach trees right now, yep. And they do really well, and so we're gonna plant two more peach trees, two different varieties, and we're gonna try a nectarine. So we're gonna cut these three trees down and plant new trees in the place of these. So we're hoping that by the time we come back from Alaska, they'll be bearing. They're just like almost rootstock right now. They're not very big, uh, but in a couple of years, they'll be big enough to start producing. So. Um, we try to we tried to plant some trees every year and now our orchard is pretty much established Over time we planted a few apricots and those didn't seem to do well at all. They seem to kind of get diseased We don't spray our trees here and all our other trees seem to be doing well now uh, with the exception of these Cherries, so we're gonna chop them down and we're gonna get some New trees put in place. What do you say boys? Yeah, okay, let's do it We're gonna fire up the saw and chop them down. It's a sad day, but it's all right. We'll plant some new trees. second tree now for the third one there we go watch, watch the tree behind you there you're good yep okay wonderful 
All right, we're on our next project right here. We are replacing all our ridge cap. We're tearing off all of our shingles and we are our ridge cap shingles and we're gonna put on this copper penny is the color ridge cap over everything. We had some issues with leakage on our ridge cap and so this is a project that we have to get done before we leave so I got the boys tearing off the ridge cap and then we're going to put on that copper ridge cap i think it's going to look kind of cool um i do have um all along my drip edge right there that is copper penny as well so i think it's going to match a little hard to see in the light but yep so that's the next project that we're working on today and tomorrow it's supposed to rain but we're going to have to get her done right we're heading up to the top of the roof Now, the boys took all this ridge cap off right here, and now we're going to put vented cap on here, and then we're going to put uh, the metal. But I see some yellow jackets flying around. I think they've got some nests up here. Okay, we've got this uh, venting on this side. We have one side nailed on, and the other side we'll leave this, and then we'll screw it down. So here we go. Well, we picked a perfect day to do this. It's starting to rain over the mountains and in about two hours is supposed to be a 100% chance of rain. So we're kind of idiots to do it, but we're doing it anyways. So now we're kind of racing against the clock and trying to get this done, but it is what it is. It'll work out. started to rain so we quickly had to just put a lot of these vents on and then then we could just put this on but it stopped raining so we're quickly putting the metal on and then trying to do as much as we can okay but adjusting daddy 
we got this on now but the bad thing was that uh when we nailed the bottom vents on these are the vents right there um we nailed them on one side all along but we didn't place them correctly on the ridge so the it wasn't we couldn't put this metal on it would the peak would be off so we had to rip it off and put it on again the right way so but Okay, we're starting this side of the roof now. Okay, we got a fair bit done, but it's pouring down rain. You can see the mountains are white back there. You can't even see them, it's raining so much. So we're gonna have to get off of here now, but we did get a bunch done. I think when I'm done, it'll look good. Right now, I'm still not sure. All right, ship's leaving, I better go. Go, go. He's right there. Who did he book a land? Justin's gotta do a number here. Okay, we're back at it this morning. It's a beautiful morning. It rained a lot last night. But we're hoping that we can finish it like by noon today. So we're going to hit it and uh, we can wrap it up. Get the project out of the way. Oh, look at that mountain view. Love it. We're now putting this piece in. Oh, first of all, we're going to see if it fits. Camp. Yeah. Okay, well, there it is. I'm trying to decide if I like it. I think I like it. I think it looks pretty cool, but uh, it'll probably grow on me. Uh, it looks, sure looks different. It's not the normal thing, but that's kind of what Priscilla and I do a lot of times. It is what it is. We got it done. The main thing is the house is protected. No more leaky ridge cap, and off to the next project.